Good morning, everybody. Mark in the dentist, mm, another dental MacGyver, and today I'm going to show you how to put the rubber dam on and the simplest uh, clinical situation uh, in which we're going to perform a root canal treatment. Uh, let's say in this case in tooth one six. Uh, so we want to um, place the rubber dam only on one teeth. So what we are going to need is the rubber, uh, the simplest one, uh, square shape, or this which is profiled. Uh, I prefer this one better uh, because it's easier. Uh, and more ergonomic, but I'm going to show you uh, the standard one. Um, we are going to need a rubber arm clamp um, for molars. If we place the rubber dam on molar teeth, for premolars, when we place the rubber dam on premolars, or this butterfly type if we place the clamp on one of anteriors mm. then we are going to need the template um, the forceps the frame and the composite applicator uh, dental floss uh, and the punch to make the holes. Um, first the punch. Um, if you will look here it has a different size of holes which you can switch by rotating this wheel. Uh, so the biggest and a little smaller is for molars, another two are for premolars and the last two, the smallest, are for incisors, the smallest one for lower incisors, the bigger one for, let's say, upper incisors, sometimes this one for premolars will be better for incisors. So we choose, let's say here, uh, not the biggest but the little smaller hole to make a punch uh, and after we choose it we take our template we put it on our rubber and with a pencil we select the teeth in this case we are going to let's say treat teeth number one six so we are going to put our rubber dam on tooth one six so we choose from our template the right position for this teeth uh, here you get for uh, primary teeth here you have for permanent teeth uh, but in fact in the case of endodontic treatment uh, it is not as important you can also um, make your mark in the middle of the rubber dam and it will also be okay. Um, and if this is the position of teeth number one six, you place your frame like this. So the lower part of the frame is farther from teeth one six. So this needs to be um, under uh, patient uh, lower jaw okay and now you put your rubber on your frame not too tight just to make it hold you take your punch you go to the area you marked before with your pencil and you punch a hole just like this okay we have a hole we take our clamp and this clamp 
is gonna be in this position uh, so this is your uh, back uh, part of the clamp and now you put the wings of the clamp underneath the gum underneath the rubber and you make sure that every part of um, the rubber is not stuck in the stiff of the clamp because you will uh, make another punch in the rubber when you will try to put the rubber them on okay now when you got this all ready you take your forceps just like this and you go to patient's mouth just like this okay you release the forceps and you put the clamp on the teeth very easily now I have to adjust my view okay now you take your composite applicator and you release the rubber from the wings of the clamp and you put it underneath very easily and then you take your dental floss and you go into interdental space to put the rubber underneath sometimes it's easier to make this area wet uh, because uh, of the friction so if you make it wet it will go easier through tight contact points so uh, remember about it uh, and sometimes if you uh, are not able to do it it's easy uh, it's a good idea to place a ring uh, let me just find one if I will if not I will show you this in next episode no I can't find so don't worry I will show it in the next episode and it's always important that your rubber always goes underneath the contact point so here distally you have to do something like this that you put your floss on the back you get it a little closer you get it underneath the wings and then you just put the rubber underneath the contact point sometimes you want to or you need to do it a couple of times but it is very important okay that the rubber goes underneath the contact point so we have our rubber dam on for our endodontic treatment in next episodes and other situations see you next time take care